Since February 14, 2023, our system ranks QQQ as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.908. In the period the stock had natural movements but currently sit with a loss of minus 4.86% since we first recommended hold slash accumulate. This is an average return of minus 0.61% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for QQQ our last headline reads, QQQ ETF downgraded to hold slash accumulate. The QQQ ETF price fell by minus 1.67% on the last day, Friday, February 24, 2023, from $296.82 to $291.85. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 1.01% from a day low at $290.05 to a day high of $292.97. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 3.26% loss for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 5 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 73 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $21.43 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $371.83, and the lowest price was $254.26. Right now the price is 21.51%, or $79.98, below 52-week high and 28.59%, or $116.86, below all-time high November 22, 2021 where the price hit $408.71. The ETF lies in the middle of a wide and weak rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 9% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 3.42% and 18.83%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 16.63% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 34.35% and minus 13.99%. This equals a price between $191.60 and $251.03 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets The following signals have been found for QQQ. The QQQ ETF holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the ETF giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the ETF will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $298.64. On a fall, the ETF will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $291.65. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, February 2, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 6.37%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the ETF should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 16 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 16 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 7 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 27 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 28 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 7 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 26 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 23 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for QQQ 
QQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $288.65 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This ETF is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the ETF moved $2.92, 1.01%, between high and low. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.43%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for QQQ. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. QQQ currently has a price earning ratio of 3.93. This is a relatively low price-to-earnings ratio and either signal a low expectation for the future of the company, or that the stock is undervalued and could indicate a buying opportunity. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, QQQ meets first resistance at $293.36. If you do not hold QQQ shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn QQQ finds first level of support at $288.65 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Our recommended stop loss is $280.42, minus 3.92%. This ETF has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 15 days ago. Is QQQ ETF a buy? QQQ holds several negative signals and this should be a sell candidate, but due to the general chance for a turnaround situation it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Monday 27th we expect QQQ to open down $0.227 and start trading at $291.62. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember